Another grieving family on another bleak day. The weather here has been entirely appropriate. The only colour from the growing line of bouquets on this bridge of flowers. These yellow roses are among the latest tributes. They are for the wedding chauffeur, Morris Abrahams, and the note says, angels come in many forms. Mr Abrahams had let this family pull out in front of him into the queue of traffic on the A27, moments before the crash. This afternoon, the Chief Constable of Sussex added to the tributes on behalf of all of his officers. We've got over 20 agencies working here in one place and all I've had reports of is how well everybody is working together and really trying to find the right answers for the people who care about the, those answers that we can get for them. A, a painstaking operation, is there any idea on how long it will take to positively identify the victims? What we can say is that we can highly likely, it is highly likely that we know who the victims are, even at this stage, to positively identify them as a responsibility for the coroner uh, to take through into the identity commission. This is the 1950s Hawker Hunter jet taking off from North Weald Airfield in Essex on Saturday, just minutes before its fateful loop the loop at Shoreham. Many displays are planned across the country this bank holiday weekend, and all are pausing to respect the victims at Shoreham. Do you think they should go ahead? Well, that's up for them to decide. Um, some of them have been cancelled. Many of them are clearly going to have to change their performances because of the new regulations. And I'm pleased that the CAA came in very quickly with those um, interim um, measures as a precautionary approach, as one would um, e expect. A number of events have been cancelled around here out of uh, respect, as one would expect, and I think that's right. The shows go on, but here, on this bridge of flowers, there is a sense of utter desolation.